In this video, we'll learn to divide two digit numbers by one digit numbers. So two digit numbers are numbers that have two digits like 12, 23, 35, 68. Whereas one digit numbers are numbers from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So first of all, um, we'll share a method to divide two digit numbers by one digit numbers. I've got 24 cubes. I want to share them equally because division means to share equally. Divide them equally into two. So I will there I have 24 and I want to divide 24 by 2. That's the same as saying there would be two people sharing them equally. So I could create two sets or two groups. And there we go, I can put two tens in each of them. There is a ten here and ten there, so equal so far. Now I have four, so I'm going to put one in each and another one in each of them. So how many does each set have? That is ten, eleven, twelve. So I've got twelve in each and every one. So I've cut them in half, I've created two equal parts, however you want to see that. What I will do now is use another method to divide the same number. So I've got 24 again. This time I'll use the bus stop method. So again, 24. I want to divide this by 2. So that means I'm creating sets of 2. For the tens, which is represented by a two there, meaning 20, I want to create a set of two, so two inside, and I can only create one set of two. So I have one, two in there. That's why I'm going to put one at the top, one set. With the units, how many sets of two can I create? I can create a set of two here and another set of two there. So there I've created two sets for the units. So my answer is 12, just like the other one that I had here. Let's try out dividing some other numbers. So I've got 48 and I want to divide it by 4. So how many sets of four can I fit into four that is one and there is nothing remaining and then how many sets of four would I make into eight there would be two and there is nothing remaining but what happens if there are numbers remaining let's have a look so now instead of 24 I'll get 25 So I've got 25 divided by 2. How many sets of 2 can I make with these 2? There's just 1. And there is nothing remaining. Now how many sets of 2 can I make with a 5? I can make 1 here. And another one here and there is a left so I've got two sets and there is one remaining let's try out another one so I've got 45 
divided by 3. How many lots of 3 it fit into 4? That would be just 1. And I would have an extra one, a spare one. So that, let's, let's actually show that using some cubes, how it actually looks. So we've got 40, or 45, so 45 cubes. So how many sets of three can I make with these 40? I can make only one and I have one extra, one spare. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put it on top of this because now what I have is 10 and the 5 to make 15 in the units. So I will undo this to make groups of 3. Let's see, so I can make a group of three, I can make another group of three, so three and three make six, and another three makes nine, and another three makes twelve, and another three makes fifteen. So that fits exactly with the 15 we have. So there is nothing left outside of the sets. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, five groups. So our answer is 15. 45 divided by three equals 15. We'll now look at a few more examples of dividing two digit numbers by one digit numbers. I've got 78 divided by three. So I'll look at how many threes fit into seven, and that is two, because three and three make six, and that is just over six, but it's not nine yet. So if I take away six from the seven, there is one left. Now, how many threes fit into 18, and that is six, and there is nothing left. So my answer is 26. Now I've got 66 divided by 5. So how many 5s would fit into 6? That is just 1 and there is 1 left. So that 1 is transferred to, that 110 is transferred to the unit to make 16. So how many 5s now would fit into 16? And that is 3. Because 3 times 5 is 15, but there is 1 left. So I'll say remaining 1. So the answer is 13 remaining 1. Now I've got 87 divided by 6. So how many 6s fit into 8? And there is just one of them, 2 remaining. How many 6s would fit into 27? So 6 and 6 makes 12, and another 6 makes 18, and another 6 makes 24. So 24, 6 times 4 is 24, and there is 3 remaining so I'll say remaining three now I've got a couple of examples of division questions there are 21 cupcakes so that's an important thing to know 21 cupcakes you have made you put them in trays of eight so you're going to fill the trays with eight in each tray how many full trays do you have let me divide to find out, because filling the trays of sharing equally means division, and there are eight in each tray. So I'll go 21 divided by eight. How many eights would fit into 21? So one is eight, two lots of them is 16, three lots is 24, which is more than that, so I'm going to stick with the two. 2 times 8 is 16, so what I have left is 5, so remaining 5. The question is how many full trays, and that would be 2 full trays.
two full trays and I have five remaining five cupcakes remaining but I'm not asked about that I'm asked about the full trays so that is gonna look something like this a full tray with one two three four five six seven eight and then another full tray with one two three four five six seven eight so I've got 16 and then I've got one two three four five so 16 17 18 19 20 21 all together so the five cupcakes remaining they're not put in the trays you another question now you and seven friends so you and seven friends are calling a taxi service to take you home in a taxi can fit five people how many taxis do you need so you it's eight of you five can fit in a taxi and there would be five of you without one so if you in one taxi would fit five people but then we'd have three people left so will you just take one taxi and leave out the three people or will you take two taxis where it would fit 10 people and it's eight of you so you can fit into that so the answer should be two taxis you can't say just one in this case 